Hello and welcome to our product update series. Today I will be talking about the one of the new updates in a day for deal version 10.1. My name is Rakesh and I am principal software engineer working in the advanced engineering team at Senecor. So here is the brief agenda on topics I will be covering in this session. Let's start with the new in 10.1 regarding the licensing. So license overview right so the old licensing system also called as legacy licensing has been replaced with the new licensing that is real time licensing model the legacy system was introduced in the very early zimra version and has not been updated as per the modern standards the legacy system was hard to maintain there was no tracking across the licenses hard to remove entitlements once the license created there was no way to change that license to replace that we introduce new real time licensing model in 10.1 this is cloud based automated licensing and entitlement service this means that once a, an environment receives a license key and it activated or enabled no other action will need to occur on the environment management of the license happens in the cloud based service and is pulled by the zimra environment within the few minutes advisory a new license is mandatory before you upgrade to 10.1 if you don't have it contact support and sales to get a new 10.1 license now you will be getting a 10 to 10 to 18 to 25 character license key instead of the xml what has been changed uh, in v2 legacy licensing and v3 uh, licensing now new license is a key managed by the local license demand service basically so previously we used to have a XML file. Now we need that license key and uh, it will be managed by a local license demand service. We are going to continue to support license types that is regular trial and extended. In addition to that, in a new real time licensing, we're going to support the DR license as well as network offline license. Like I said, uh, legacy license was managed by mail store server. Now it will be managed by the license demand service. No action taken on the entitlements limit exceed in the in the license limit in the V2 legacy licensing. But in a V3 real time licensing, you are not allowed to use any feature beyond the allo allotted limits. In a common features, we are going to continue to serve the 30 days grace period once your license expired. Same license can be used on multiple devices, but it is allowed for the only for the special cases. Additional FAQs, right? Can you can customer proceed to upgrade without trace of license? No, you need a valid new license. How can I get a new license? Customers request for a new license either for the support or sales, or they can convert to their legacy license from the support portal. Can customer activate license offline? Yes, we're gonna continue to support that, but to support the offline activation they need some additional models to be installed please refer admin guide for the same can customer use the same license on multiple setups yes we are allowing to use that for special cases when does the system state change to grace period there are two scenarios where your system can be into the grace period one is your license expired system into the grace period for next 30 days when license demand service is down, the system moves to the grace period until and unless your LDS is up and running. License types. So there are two major license types, regular and trial. Most licenses are categorized as regular licenses. Uh, there are subcategories in a regular license like disaster recovery license and the offline activation license. So basically disaster recovery license for hot standby servers, specifically specifically for a combination of two licenses. Offline activation license also called a network license work as a combination with the product license keys. Trial license, it is 60 days, 50 users license with all features and functions enabled. License activation. So there are few announcements made on your admin UI side to make it more intuitive and easy to follow. All license operations are on a single screen now. You don't need to navigate through screen to screen for any license related operations split key and multiple activations this is specifically for a bsp on uh, who uses the same license on a multiple product production servers basically we are allowing them to use a 
same license on multiple in production servers but if you use the same license on multiple environment you have to make a note of like the limit of that usage limit of that particular license will be calculated across the environment so for example you have three production environment environment one environment two environment three you are using 50 users on environment one you are using 100 users on environment two you are using 50 users on environment three then total value is 200 users so it will be calculated across the users additional user cannot be created on any environment if your account limit has been reached so it is applies for all environment let's talk about the high level architecture so like i said i talked about lds in a previous slide it is a new component introduced as part of the zimra installation it will get installed automatically so basically this is in local license server uh, for your zimra setup any anything related to licensing will be managed by this component this component will make sure to communicate to our cloud license manager for any license related operations let's more let's talk more about the lds that is license daemon service basically lds should be installed after ldap or before mail store in a both the cases of install or upgrade in a multi node upgrade both legacy and new license will continue to work unless whole setup upgrade to the zimra 10.1 so you don't need to uh, think about the how it it going to work with the legacy license it will continue to support the legacy as well as new license lds should be installed on a internet facing server since it need to communicate with our cloud based license management system so it should be always on a internet facing server in case of online activations for a small environment it is recommended to install on a on the mta proxy for large environments it a dedicated node is recommended for the lds all mail store within the zimra setup be communicating with the license demand service for any license related operation whether it is license activation whether it is license check whether it is feature check if your license demand service is down zimra setup will enter into the grace period until service is up and running so you have to make sure that your service is up and running always there are some enforcement like in a new real time licensing there are two kind of attributes in a license enforce attributes and the reporting attributes so basically enforce attributes are like unless or until that attribute is enabled with some limit you are not allowed to use that like aws mapi mobile sync smime you have to have those attributes enabled if you want to use that feature then we have reporting attribute those are not enforced you are you are free to use that but but its usage will be calculated feature needs to be enabled for license key use a feature on the zimra server right so basically there are two kind of features normal feature and limit features so normal features are server level features like backup enable your hsm enable storage management enable right so these are normal kind of feature once enabled your this is available for use there are another kind of feature like a limit features that is aws mapi those features need, need to be enabled with some limits and you are allowed to use that feature up to that limit network extension will be moved out of memory if feature is disabled for 30 minutes if license is modified then it will be automatically propagated to the zs server within the 30 minutes but to load a previous inactive features into memory you have to restart the mesh store or is prevention this is another component for the real time licensing basically it will it it it, it prevents to you prevents from using the feature beyond its limit so basically if you are allowed to use a 100 users for smime then it won't allow you to do that do that for more than 100 it is applied on both cost and accounts level if you are trying to enable feature on a cost level it will it will check in background like whether the, there is a available limit for the feature or not based on the number of accounts that going to affected with that cost enablement similarly it goes for the account if you are trying to enable a feature on account level it will still check whether there is a limit available for that feature or not if it is exhausted it won't allow you to do that another important component is over use correction this is a new usage correction module has been introduced if any feature over use by some reason it will get out to corrected within the 24 hours when this module finds over use feature it start disabling feature on a cost and then account level based on its internal internal algorithm 
it also sends out notification to the admin or whatever whatever email address mentioned as part of the LDAP attribute Zimbra license notification email. If you want to change this notification address, you are free to change this Zimbra license email notification email LDAP attribute value. We're going to continue to enhance this module in upcoming release to for more precise auto corrections. Real time licensing. There are few important state of license like a grace period and license expired. So when your license into the grace period is basically when your license is expired. So grace period will continue to serve for next 30 days. And during the grace period, you are continuing to use a network feature, except some exceptions like cannot create modify for delete accounts, cannot restore accounts from the backup. Administrator will continue to see the license renewal prompt in your on the admin UI. But if your license expired, right? If you didn't renew your license during the grace period, your license will enter into the license expiry state. It will stop all extension and network features will stop functioning. You are not able to use the network features anymore if your license expired. If you want to renew the license, right? If you renew the license during the grace period, there will be no changes required at your setup. It will continue to function normally. But if you renew the license after the license expiration, you have to restart your mail store to load the extension back into the memory. Let's talk about the offline license. Basically, this is this is a special kind of case for the customers who are who are running their system in a complete darknet without any internet access. So for that, you need to install additional component called as a Nelpern offline daemon. To install it, you can run the command like m install Zimbra Nelpern offline daemon. Just make sure that you are installing this component on the same node where your LDS is running. Additionally, you need to have network license key to install this daemon or to enable this daemon on your system. During the installation of LAN daemon, that is this Nelpern daemon, installer will make sure that to, to change the configuration in the LDS service to make it compatible with the offline mode. But just make sure before installing this component, you have a network key. Please contact support and sales for that. Data export, right? When you are running your system in a data, offline mode, there is no way to report back that into the Zimbra usage platform. To track the usage of the offline setup, data must be exported back into the Zimbra usage reporting platform. There are CLI command introduced for this operation. This CLI command can be run from the any mail show server. After executing this command, CSV file can be found under the directory OPT Zimbra data license. You can upload it reporting platform via the support portal. There are some things for the troubleshooting the licensing. Basically, mail store logs, OPT Zimbra, you can find those logs in the OPT Zimbra log mail store log. There are license demon service logs. Those are located under the OPT Zimbra logs folder, file called as the license demon service logs. It will contain the, all the communication related logs from mail store to LDS. There is another logs that is native C library logs that is integrated within the license demon service. Basically, this library is responsible for communicating from your license demon service to our cloud based license management system. Any communication or any 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 error or any situation happens during this communication from your LDS or cloud-based license management system, those logs will be recorded in this directory called OPT Zimbra license work log. Activation fail. If you are if you're getting activation fail during your license activation, here are some error codes those are listed. Make sure your LDS is running if your license is, you are, you are getting license activation fail. How you can check that? You can run the command gm license ctl hyphen hyphen service status. If you fail to activate a license, make sure at least node has the internet access. You also have to make sure that. Invalid license with the error codes 4001, verify license is not expired. You, you got an error code say minus 101116, check your account has a valid support entered. If you don't have a valid support, then you will not able to activate the license. If you get an error like say 5000, then this is something like you don't have any value support entered in your account. If you get an error like 401, 
that is license activation restriction your license is not available anybody in a SFTC that means your license is not active it has a valid expiry but it is not active license if you get an error like 4 triple O that means license here is not valid if you are trying to do it if you're trying to change your license you're trying to install a new license on top of another license and li that new license is having a lower limit than your existing license then it will throw this error if you get an error 4002 that means you are trying to install a trial license on top of a regular license that is not allowed feature check failed if you see like you are not able to enable feature or you are not able to uh, use that feature then here are some troubleshooting checks first of all check your license demon services running check you whether you are authorized to use that feature how you can check that you you can run the command zm license hyphen fc and pass the feature code if you recently enabled that feature and you haven't restarted the mail store mailbox then please do it if you see that your feature is enabled but still you are not able to use that and your feature is in limit feature then you can check the whether you have available limit for your feature or not that can be done by zm license hyphen p grip hyphen e aws limit hyphen a3 it will tell you it will output the whether you, how much accounts you are allowed to do that and how much how much usage you have already used so there is a disaster recovery there are some recommendation uh, what happens your lds nodes goes down or corrupted right your gcs system will move into the gray spirit state how you can recover it you can install lds on a new node reactivate the license from any of the main store if you need additional help contact support for any added for any additional help yep that's all that's it for this session thank you have a great day